In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the drop shadow effect on your text inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once Adobe Premiere Pro is launched and ready to go, we need to begin by creating a brand new title. So we'll go up to File, New, Legacy Title, and inside of Legacy Title, we can just type out anything that we would like to add this effect to. So once you've typed out what you're going to say and you've customized the look of your text, we can exit the Legacy Title window and we can drag Title 1 over into our sequence. Now from here, I'm just going to add a colored background to make the drop shadow effect appear more visibly. So we're gonna to go to new item, new black video, press okay, and we'll drag the black video onto video layer one underneath the text layer. From here, we'll go into effects and we'll search for tint, drop tint on top of the black video, and we'll map the black to a different color. So in this example, we'll map this to a dark red. Now we'll go back into effects and we'll search for drop shadow and in the perspective tab we can see drop shadow and we'll just drop that onto our text layer. Now in the effect controls tab we can see all of these different settings for drop shadow and to begin with we have the color of the drop shadow. But we'll come back to that setting so underneath the color is the opacity so if we pull this down then the effect is less intense but if we pull it up to 100% then it is quite an intense look. Direction is the direction of the drop shadow. Distance refers to the distance between the shadow and the original text layer. Pulling up the softness is like increasing the feathering on a mask. So this is just gonna blur out the shadow, making it appear less harsh. So feel free to play with that, pull that up, pull that down. But if you keep that to zero, then it's gonna be a nice block solid text layer underneath your original text. The drop shadow effect is a really cool effect and it can really help to add character and style to your text. So feel free to play with this text and try and find a desired look for your film. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. See you on the next video.